Hey everyone, it's JoJo and welcome to my Bakugan Battle Planet Diamond Unboxing Marathon Part 2. So in this video, I've got three Diamond Bakugan. First of all, everyone's favorite, Diamond Hyper Dragonoid. Next, Diamond Garganoid and Diamond Truck. So I've decided to do all three of these in one video because these are Bakugan that I have unboxed before. So this video is going to be mostly about comparing them to their original Bakugan. So let's start off with everyone's favorites, Dragonoid. So we have the diamond version of Dragonoid, uh, Hyper Dragonoid Ultra. And diamond form and it looks great. So awesome. I love the new graphic that they've used for this particular one because it is the hyper version. All right, so we got our typical packaging format, and um, it is a challenge level of two, and it comes with a magic shield and a flaming fist. And on the back, here we have Diamond Dragonoid in this cool graphic. So this comes with one Bakugan Ultra, two Baku cores, one ability card, one character card, one instruction sheet, and one toy battling rule sheet. Huh, okay. <laughs> and down here we have more Ultra, so we have Chaos Tritonium, Aquas Phaedrus, and Pyra's Kellyon, which I do not have. Even this one, too. Darkus Trun Truncanius. Tr Truncanius, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very, uh... I haven't learned to pronounce all of the Bakugan's names. But anyway, yeah, let's start off with Diamond Typer Dragonoid. I want to take a peek at the cores first. Ooh, plus 650, you already saw that. A really good one. I think it's the same as the, uh, yeah, plus 250 plus three. And we got the cards here. Thank you for not being taped. So we have your uh, Dragonoid Ultra character card. You need the, these two cores to play it. 505, that's a great starting one. And then Hyper Dragonoid Ultra, only two cost, 808. So yeah, basically you wanna have that for a quick evolution. Next up we have just, you know, your typical simple battle brawl. And this should be the checklist and instruction sheets. And I'm pretty sure we've seen these before, but go ahead and pause it if you'd like to take another look at them. And ooh, it's even in a diamond form on the instructions. Neat. There we go. Ho ho ho. Looks so great. And uh, these arms do flip down. Ooh, I like the new color of that. I like the way the orange pops against um, the, clear, uh, the clear plastic. That looks great. Okay, so I think in my other Hyper Dragonoid unboxing, I thought that this was a mistake, that the arms couldn't move forward, but that's actually intentional. So it's not going to have that same, uh, same front-facing um, arm pose as uh, the regular Dragonoid Ultra. And of course, the horn does pop up. 500B down there, the side of the back. Ooh, that looks, that looks pretty cool. I kind of wish there was a little bit more color on the top of the face rather than the bottom jaw. Because it, it kind of looks like um, the little peg that swivels the, uh, that moves the horn. It kind of looks like its eyes and it kind of looks a little creepy. <laughs> it's a little robotic to me. But yeah, it looks, it looks, I actually like the way the, this orange paint is. I I think it might be the same or different. I don't know, I have to check. So here we have the regular one. Yeah, it's a different paint. So this one has, um, this one's actually not painted. This one is um, like orangey plastic. And this has more of like a nice shiny golden orange paint to it. Ooh, that looks really nice. I kind of prefer this one. It looks great. So I think the, the red plastic is the same, the same color. Uh, we have a different tail end here. Uh, we got more green on this side. 
I think that's what I asked for in my original unboxing and I wish there was a little bit more green on the side of um, of um, this Dragonoid Ultra if I don't remember. But anyway, um, but yeah, a little bit more green to green paints there. Uh, we got the same green chest emblem in the middle, but um, on the shoulders, the front shoulders here, it's, uh, this one is red, this one's green, and the horns are different color. Um, so yeah, they did switch up the color scheme a little bit, but I do really prefer this color of orange. I wish they would put that on all of the Pyrus, Pyrus Bakugan. But yeah, it's got a really nice shine gloss to it. It looks really great. It looks. It makes it look more, um, more rare. All right. So that is Diamond Hyper Dragonoid Pyrus. And yeah, let's see if I could put this together without look, looking at the instructions. So no, the wings gotta go. And I'm pretty sure the feet curl up somehow. Now. Whatever. <laughs> I'll just look at the instructions. Alright, so yeah, I was right. The feet do curl up and they do come up like this. And the wings, or the head comes down. And then the tail comes all the way up to this point. And I'm pretty sure it locks in. And then the wings go ahead. There we go. And there we have it. Diamond Hy Hyper Dragonoid in ball form. Yeah, there's just those. I just can't get over that paint job there. It looks really, really nice. Moving on to Diamond Garganoid. Now, I actually found this while I was on vacation in Colorado. Uh, so my husband and I stopped by a Walmart just to get some sunscreen and some other supplies because we were going hiking. And then like, hey, let's go check out the Bakugan section just for fun. And hey, this was here. <laughs> and another funny story about this is that when we went to go check out at the, uh, the counter, I left the bag on the carousel. And we drove all the way from Grand Junction to Ore County which is about a two hour distance uh, or time distance. And when we got to Ore County, I re just realized we didn't have that bag with the diamond garganoid and the sunscreen that we, were, we needed. Uh, <laughs> so I wasn't gonna be in Ore County, oh, I wasn't gonna be in Grand Junction in about three more days. So that was like three days of like kind of um, anxiety or anticipation because we went back and um, they did log that we left it there. So when they, when you lose, when you leave something at the carousel, they have, they put it back and then um, you have to go get it and prove that, you know, show your receipt and all that stuff. And so it was back on the shelf three days later. I was so surprised that nobody picked this up. And I know this is a long story, but it gets better. And when I, three days later, again, when, when we went back there to get this, this was also sitting there, so I got, it was like a series of unfortunate events that led to a very, very fortunate one where we found diamonds. Not literal diamonds, but you know. <laughs> but anyway, that's my story when it comes to finding this Bakugan. But yeah, I was really happy <laughs> to find it. And yeah, check it out. I really love the way that the back here is kind of has like a diamond shade to it. And we have diamond, gargonoid, pyr- oh not pyrus, darkest comes with a green fist and a regular shield and this has a challenge level of three. I remember trying to close this for the first time a um, long time ago. Um, my One of my first Bakugan unboxings, it was really, really tough. But now it's it should be okay, <laughs> I hope. So this comes with the Bakugan Ultra, of course. Two Baku cores, one ability card, one character card, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, we got more of them down here. So this is from an older wave, so. Some stuff we've already seen. No. Oh, this is the best part. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Yeah. All right, so here we have the Bakken cores. The green fist is one, plus 150, plus one, pretty low. And then the shield is plus 300. And again, I have unboxed this before, so this is like the third Garganoid I've unboxed. 
So we have Darkest Garganode Ultra, 305, and the Diamond version, 709, it costs 5. Plus 800, wow. So potentially a, um, a 1500 plus whatever you get from the core, so 318. Yeah, so potentially 18 if you get the right core. And here we have our instructions and checklists. And yeah, this comes in diamond as well. All right, here is Diamond Garganoid Ultra. It actually looks really nice. I like how there is more solid plastic because it doesn't make the uh, the diamond or the clear plastic parts like seem so like empty. It actually looks pretty good with uh, more solid colored parts. So we got these green eyes. We got the front, um, the front arms, the back arms, or the back back arms, <laughs> back legs with these thick thighs. Garganoid got some thighs. <laughs> we got these really cool expanded wings with the chains detailed in there. Looks really nice. I really like how they added that paint again on top. Just more solid colors kind of makes everything pop out. I was saying in my last diamond video that um, too much of the clear plastic kind of just makes it seem, you know, again, just empty. And we have this solid black piece of plastic for the tail. Now I do have the Chaos version and the Darkest version, but let's uh, compare it to the Darkest version. And again, different color schemes. A little bit of a different color scheme. I like that they um, switched up the paint here, so it's green, purple, black. This one is just purple, black. Um, the regular one has more of a green, green color on the top, um, and it is painted on the inside. I think the inside is painted, or the outside is painted. Either way, there's two different colors for the um, uh, for the wings. Um, I do appreciate that they did use the black again because uh, the green against that would kind of look, you know, kind of weird. Um, I think uh, the yeah the green and the black here on the thighs are pretty much the same, and uh, the tail obviously is different colored. But again, just the black makes it more just brings it out a little bit better. So to close this, got the instructions, tuck the head in, start bringing the tail up, and I think that the front arms come as the tail keeps coming up, and this locks like that, and these should come down and tuck it in, down and tucked in, there we go, maybe in a little bit more on this side. There, there's that click. And these, that's so, that's so creepy looking. <laughs> and then the thighs, the feet, the wings. Ooh, this looks really nice in ball form. That looks really great. I like how you can see the plastic or the painted parts through the outer plastic parts. That looks awesome. And we have this uh, almost completely black streak going down the middle just to show you where to roll it and lastly we have diamond trucks so yeah typical packaging once again comes with a helix and a shield and we got diamond trucks here on the back challenge level of two all right let's just get this guy open Alright, so the cores for the shield we have plus 300 and then for the helix plus 5 and negative 1. Here we have the card. Trox Ultra 301. Victor, you may energize a card in your hand uncharged. And then Diamond Trox Ultra cost 5. 1408 and here we have diamond trucks and I could already tell that the paint job looks great kind of like with uh, hyper dragonoid the diamond hyper dragonoid the paint on that is very glossy oh ooh, yeah yeah so they do use um, 
better quality, like a nice glossy glittery type of paint. You could see it right there in that lighter green. Uh, looks really nice, even on the, the bottom part of the chin. Trox has always been a really cool looking uh, uh, Ultra Bakugan because it really does look like a T-Rex. It looks great. But yeah, I, I love the paint job on this. Love how there's not too much of the diamond. Um, kind of like, again, with Garganoid that um, it's mixed with the solid colors, the solid pieces of plastic um, to kind of bring out more of the detail of this Bakugan and they use better paint across the whole body to, again, just to make it look better so it's just not like a piece of clear plastic. Alright, now let's compare that to regular Trox. Let's bring his little arms out. His little T-Rex arms. Alright, so pretty standard looking, pretty standard color scheme for Ventus Bakugan. But here, you could definitely tell the difference in shine when it comes to the paint. I believe the the head, the head look is it's darker on the regular one. This one's lighter, but it has a even lighter color on, um, or the the shinier color on the chin. Oh, who's a good boy? <laughs> Yeah, again, I think I prefer this one over the regular Trox one. This looks awesome. Uh, even the toes. It's not quite yellow. It's like more of like a... It's kind of like this color a little bit, but more kind of like a yellowish golden color. This one's just, you know, flat yellow. But yeah, it, I think this one, again, I just prefer this one. It looks, it looks totally awesome. Right, and then to transform him back, now I'm going to challenge myself by not looking at the, uh, the instructions. Oh, and there's the B power down on the bottom. I think this whole thing like comes around like this. There we go. Can hold that in. I think the head goes last, actually. There you go. Pretty easy. Again, it looks pretty great in ball form. Alright, now let's transform all these guys. Let's start off with Diamond Hyper Dragonoid. Oh! <laughs> it just threw the, uh, it just threw the Baku cord. It, like, has a hard time picking it up, but yeah. Let's bring out the wings and these little itty-bitty arms and the horn. Can't forget about the horn. Next up, a Garganoid. Oh, <laughs> I thought it wasn't gonna pick it up. I should have waited. Anyway, here we have Garganoid. And lastly, again, Trox. Oh, nice stand. That was a good one. All right, so that is it for this unboxing marathon video. Stay tuned because I still have a ton of diamond Bakugan to unbox. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I will see you next time in the next one.